Yeah, friends, we're going to spend some time in prayer, and I thought we'd use the Lord's Prayer to guide our prayer today. Um, we're obviously not together, and um, there are, while there are lots of things in the world to pray about, um, I thought I would allow you to spend some time thinking about uh, the things that you want to thank God for or pray to God for. And so I thought we'd use the uh, Lord's Prayer. And so let me tell you what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to explain what we're going to do. I'm going to give you some time to think. Uh, if you need more time, then press pause uh, and come back. And then we're going to pray that section of the prayer. So uh, the first section I'm going to pray is Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, using the old uh, version. Um, uh, but that's okay. Um, so what is it about God's name, about God, that you want to celebrate? Hello. Uh, what is it about who he is and his actions? We've seen lots of names for Jesus which demonstrate who he is and what he's like. Uh, what is it about God that you want to celebrate? So take a moment now to think about what it is about God that you want to celebrate. Okay, and I'm going to pray that. And uh, so I'm going to pray the first phrase and then, um, yeah, it'll make sense. <laughs> Our Father who, are, who is in heaven, Father, we want to hallow your name for these reasons, for the person who you are. Father, we ask that your name would be hallowed. Next section is your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, we want to pray that God's kingdom would become. How do we want king, God's kingdom to be seen in the world? What is it his will that we want to see done on earth as it is in heaven? God's will is done in heaven. God's kingdom is in heaven. We want it to be seen on earth. How do we want to see it? How do you want to see God's kingdom in the world today, in Monbolt today, in your family, in your home, in our world. Have a think about that. And when I pray, feel free to say out loud or in your head the things that you want, where you want God's kingdom to be seen. Heavenly Father, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray, Father, that your kingdom would be seen in. We pray, Father, that the world, that people in would see your rule, would see your power. We pray, Father, for your will, especially over the nation of the situation in our city today. In the next section, we, we ask God to give us our daily bread and to forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. We want to pray that God would give us our daily bread today because he's given us our daily bread yesterday and all the other days. We want to pray that God will forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Father, we're, friends, we're forgiven, and so we are to be forgivers. But some people, it is difficult to forgive. I want to pray this morning that we would, that God would help us to forgive, and there might be somebody who you're finding particularly difficult to forgive. And let me say it would be good to pray today that God would help us to forgive 
and that we would forgive. So let me pray. Give us this day our daily bread. We thank you, Father, that you have given us our daily bread and that you would continue to provide for all our needs. Forget, Father, we ask that you would forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Father, help us to forgive those who we are finding difficult to forgive. We just pray especially for help us to forgive them, Father. Not because they deserve it, but because we are forgiven. The next section is, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Uh, so we want to ask that God would not lead us to, towards sin, but would deliver us from sin. There may be sins that you're finding particularly tempting at the moment. And this would be a good time to call them out, to remind God that we need his deliverance. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would lead us not in temptation, particularly with, and that you would deliver us from sin, from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen, friends. See you later.